Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are almost done with the Baltic Coast of Denmark and Sweden bush trip in the 172 Classic. Not the 172 Glass Cockpit, that's the other one of the same dog on bush trip that I have to fly to keep my 100% streak. But I don't plan on recording that one, I just plan on recording this one. Alrighty, two legs left, um, pretty straightforward. I assume you know what's going on, because why would you jump in on the last video of a series? But hey, welcome if you're new. But anyway, let's get going. All right, they put us somewhere. Where they put us? Well, about runway nine. Hopefully, we don't want to take off on twenty-seven because that'd be a long taxi. We'll see. Wherever they tell us to go, we have to go. We don't have to, but we're going to. All right, quick leg, eighteen minutes. Let's get this thing started up before. Um, we're in less time than the leg would take. There you go. Put that in. Can't get these lights adjusted, it's annoying. Um, what oh, wrong one? There we go. Alrighty, I'm just hoping I can stay awake because, make sure, by the way, I am recording this. Well, I don't want to spoil the magic behind the scenes, but I'm recording this. Just before the um, Las Vegas Grand Prix Formula One race, and that means <laughs> it's a late night because Grand Prix or Formula One Las Vegas midnight race for me in real life. Yeah, I want to watch it live though because it'd be cool. So I am already tired, but I'm flying a plane to keep myself awake. Although this is so relaxing, it might put me to sleep. Anyway, there you go. Behind the scenes magic. You're watching this way beyond the Las Vegas Grand Prix, but that's why I'm recording it. Same night. All right, here we go. Let's get going. Actually, come down here so we can get this going when that's ready. All righty. Take off from the airport. Turn to the northeast and fly over the water of Brovikin, a large bay that opens up to the Baltic Sea. Enter, enter. Um, known for its fish life. Cool. So there we go. Um, I think... We'll read all this and just fly it. So two minutes out, we're going to an island. After that, we're going to a city. Ooh, fly over the opening. Once at the Baltic Sea, the coastline. Oh, once you're at the Baltic Sea. I thought it meant like the water retreated or something. Retract, whatever. <laughs> once you're at the Baltic Sea, you follow the coastline to the north to the town. Industrial city in use for more than 500 years, and they have a tractor run around. So an island for fishing, an old city, and then... Um, Another city important for textile and manufacturing. And then the airport, before you know it, will be there. So there you go. Land at the airport. Um, Stockholm Scott Fissa Airport. Um, but that's not our final destination. Our final destination is Stockholm something else. Interesting. So we're in the area of Stockholm. But the next leg is half an hour long. Interesting. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Alrighty, so there you go. Those of you who have not been on Bush Trip with me before, welcome, but most of you probably have. Sometimes we'll go to a place, read it, go to a place, read about it, go to the next one. Something this short, we read about them all. You know what we're looking for. I'll get it in sightseeing so you do not miss a thing. And um, that's simple. We have a problem though. Our GPS lost where to go. So we need to go to 45. So what we're gonna do in the flight plan. There you go. Bam. Now we have a GPS. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, it wants us to turn around like that. Okay, so we're going to turn around. Bam. There you go. Um, I think we can zoom this one in a little bit. Oh, that's already zoomed in. I'll play with that later. This one I want zoomed off for sure. I want to see where we're going. So again, boom, 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 boom. Land. 18 minutes. Taking us longer to talk about it than it is to get there. Whoa, there's the thousands. I knew you could do it faster. That's just for autopilot. Keep that out. Alrighty, there you go. Let's tune in tower because it is towered. And let's um have some fun with ATC. Depart to the north-ish. Come sing in ground, turtle soup, tango, 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 4-1 request taxi to the active departure to the north. Turtle soup, tango, 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 4-1 taxi to and hold short of runway 27 using taxiway Bravo, cross runway 27 Charlie. Taxiing hold short runway 27 via taxiway Bravo cross runway 27 Charlie Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. So they want us to take Bravo to the runway 
and then back taxi on the runway to take off. So I don't remember where the runway was when I looked on a big view. So let's come out. Where's 27? It is the other side. So I have to back taxi a long way. Is this a taxiway? Well, it is now. Yep, it's like a high speed thing. But we have the back taxi. So let's come down here. Let's turn on all of our lights because we're going to be on the runway. There you go. Just like that. And whoopsies. Good thing I'm not a doctor. You don't want to say whoopsies if you're a surgeon, especially open heart surgeon. I think this is enough of a back taxi. So we're all ready to go. Even flaps are down. So we just need to stop so that it shows up on here. There we go. Clearance. Come sing in tower turtle soup. Tango, tango, tango. 4-1 at runway 27. Ready for departure, north departure. We're still in the touchdown zone area for the other runway. That's okay. We don't need much space, see? This is an enormous runway. Alright, there we go. Make us out the wheels. Gears fixed. Flaps coming up. What did it need us to do? I don't know. We have to get over. We have to turn all the... Whoa. Let's look out the window. We need to go all the way around. Just like this. Without running into stuff. And then we'll be able to um, use autopilot as we rejoin the GPS path. I just want to look around here. Alrighty. Trying to enjoy things without crashing into things. And looking back at the report. Yep, baroni. What's this? Dirt bike track or something? That's like a race track for a bunch of stuff. Maybe they train Formula One there. I doubt it, but you never know. Gotta start somewhere, right? Alrighty, so we're gonna get close to the track as soon as this little thing gets really close. Then we'll engage autopilot. That's how we know. Or what we could do, I can show you something. If we hit autopilot now, it's gonna keep you at your vertical speed. Right? And it's going to keep your horizontal stabilization. We're going to hit nav, but we're too far away, so it's armed. As soon as it gets close enough, if I zoom in a little bit, then this will... There you go. Boom. It picks it up. It's going to turn on its own. Very simple, but gets the job done. Let's actually go like that. Alrighty, so we're looking for this island, and then a couple medieval cities... I don't need to talk through the whole thing. I've done plenty of talking during this bush trip in other videos. So, sightseeing already. If you don't know what that is, you're going to figure it out soon. I'll see you in a little bit.
All right, we're approaching the first city, and then the airplane's going to try to make a sharp U-turn to the next city, and then right after that is your airport. So we're coming back together here now, and just by the way, the airport, fifth largest, fifth busiest, sorry, in Sweden. So there you go. Looked at Google Maps. We're quite away from Stockholm. Maybe Satellite City of Stockholm or something, but Stockholm is in the airport name. So let's hop outside, have some views together here around. And we'll go back to that city, which is right there, and then the airport, which is like right there somewhere. Like here or something. So as soon as you make your U turn, we'll call the airport, see if it has a tower. Hopefully, they'll let us land. And then we'll move on to our final leg of the bus trip. So there's your city. I'm curious how Autopilot is going to handle this, to be honest with you. I'm quite um, interested in how this is going to go. But we'll see. There you go. Have a look. Super old, but they have a racetrack, a running track. Something in the middle. So there you go. Pause it. Stare at it. Let's hop inside so we can enjoy this crazy U-turn we're going to have. And let's get ready to call Eskin, see what they have to say. I would assume being the fifth busiest, they're going to um, have a tower. And they do. And let's request full stop landing. Skasta Tower Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 is 9 or miles southeast, 2,000 feet, with uniform to land. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 Skasta Tower. Altimeter 2 niner decimal niner 21264 at 5. Fly left base runway 26. Fly left base runway 26, Turtle Soup Tango, Tango, Tango 41. Let's put our heading bug on 26 so we have an idea of the runway. That's not, I don't have the exact heading for the runway, but we know it's going to be a slight dog leg to the left. So we're going to come to the city in front of us. Turn left, hopefully that lets us. Going to the airport, we'll have to see. Not sure. We'll turn off autopilot when it's appropriate. We might end up flying over the airfield if we can't find it. All the same typical stuff. Whoa, that is incredibly gorgeous scenery. Interesting. I would only expect the best scenery for bush trips, but of course, Asbro is limited to the data and scenery they have available to them, so, you know, some areas don't have very good scenery, which is one reason why they might have not have a world update yet. Or sometimes they get a world update and they do some bush trips and the bush trips aren't that spectacular. We've seen it all. We've done over 50 of these now, I think. 5-0. I keep forgetting to count again. Last time we counted was 47, I think, and they added a bunch. So I believe this is our airport right here, and we're parallel to the runway. So let's see if I can get on this autopilot thing. Thank you. We're going to look wild side one more time. Again, take your pictures, whatever you want to do. Our airplane is freewheeling. Let's go over here. And let's see if this is 2-6. Um, wait, that might... Oh, that's going to be 2-6 right there. Whoops. Sorry, I was looking at a different runway. Do they have multiple runways here? They do, yep. I was looking at that runway, which would be like 36 or something. I don't know. Anywho, here we go. Let's come down. So to come down, we're not going to nose down. We'd speed up. To come down, we're going to bring back throttles. Keep your attitude the same. Um, it'll keep the same speed. But I'm also nosing up a little bit to slow down. There we go, nice and easy. We'll stay just outside of flap range. It said we're cleared, didn't it? Yeah. Runway 27 has to be that one. It should make sense once we get closer. We don't want to pull the Harrison Ford, though, and land on a taxiway. So hopefully, hopefully this is what we intend to do. Start turning in a little bit early so we don't have a very boring long approach. Nose up to slow down, bring back throttle so we don't descend too much as we fight some kind of turbulence. And first set of flaps. Gears fixed, obviously. Let's use fuel pump in case we have to go around. We want to be ready to work that engine. Second set of flaps. We will go full flap, because I want to. 
land as quickly as we can because I want to. Ooh, if we land super fast, we can get a taxiway at the touchdown zone. I don't think we'll land that quickly, though. We're going to hover a little bit. Whoa, what? I did not do that. Um, I've lost control of my airplane. Hello. Thank you. That was weird. I did not like that. Anywho, full flap now. Throttles a little bit, though, because we're going to slow down too soon. And in we come. Middle marker. Somehow our frequencies happen to be tuned in. That's kind of funny. And... Here we go. Nice and slow. See if we can stop by that second taxi we get there by the Pappy. Ooh. Let's not crash in the grass, though. We don't need to be silly. We don't need to be silly. Come on. Oh, boy. Are we going to get to the runway? We're going to make it to the runway. Oh, boy. There's this tall horn. And... Boom! Firm landing. There we go. Perfect. There we go. That was not a very good landing for a long runway and everything, but I wanted to see how quickly we could stop. So if we were landing in the mountains, like for a mountain community or whatever, to deliver goods, that would have been a fantastic landing. So that's what I was trying to do. So, there. That's my excuse. I really was trying to do that. So, there we go. One two seven decimal seven zero five turtle soup tango 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 four one. Scasta Airport Information Uniform zero nine zero zero. Oops, I don't know what I'm Skasta doing. Scasta Ground Turtle Soup Tango 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 four one request taxi to parking. Turtle Soup Tango 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 four one taxi to General Aviation parking using taxiway. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway, Turtle Soup Tango, Tango Tango 41. I don't know where they want us to go, so we're just going to go over here somewhere. I don't see my landing crew, so. Wait, is my landing crew at the fuel box? No. Is my landing crew over here? There's nobody by the fuel box, just fuel. I am seeing things. I'm so tired. How am I going to make it to Formula 1 tonight? I might have to watch it as a rerun tomorrow. But anyway, for you, it was like a month ago, so. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think that's my landing crew either. I think they're for that plane. Okay, we're just going to park anywhere at this point. So let's go here. Slow down. Park in this area. Bam, as though we're a jet. Set the parking brake. Come down here. Turn off everything, avionics and everything, do to do to do. And turn off the key and the fuel and the mixture. And here we go. There we go. Alrighty. Whoa, 10 minutes longer than it's supposed to be. What's up with that? Anyway, I'm still excited about my mountain landing that I did not need to do, but I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's keep going to the final leg. Alright, and they put us somewhere else. They not, did not approve of our jet location. <laughs> That's okay, as long as we get to take off on 26 again, so we don't have to attack very far. Alrighty, fuel should still be in. Do all this, I did repair and refuel on the previous leg. Mixture is in, even though it's off camera to the right. I actually want beacon, not strobe, I think. And let's start this thing up. Straight forward, straight forward. Alrighty, let's get PW on for now. Boom, boom. Now we'll do a strobe. We'll do the rest of the lights later. Let's get tax lights ready to go. Let that run while we read about where we're going. We're going to Echo Sierra Sierra Uniform, not Alpha. So we're not going to the big airport in Stockholm. We're going to a smaller one. Half an hour says, let's see how long this takes me. Lift off and set a course. Pass over the north side of the small lake and visual route four. And follow a creek. Nondescript, but we'll find it. Six minutes later, uh, route four, getting a visual on the lake. That should be a little easier. We're going to follow this road, it looks like. That makes things pretty easy. We'll keep going here. Follow the route four northeast. Join the city of Seoul. They're tall. Hey. History of settlement and location. Modern ZCD stretches back to the Stone Age. Whew, I think of everything in Minecraft terms. Stone tools. Alrighty, let me do one more. I don't know what's after that. Uh, no, let's not. So we'll stop at the Stone Age city. 
International Center for Automotive Manufacturing, like Volvo, maybe? Is Volvo in Stockholm? I'm not sure. And pharmaceuticals among the industries. So, following the roads, we got a town, a lake, and an industrial city. And then we'll come back and read the rest together. Uh, we lost GPS? Or no, we didn't. Let me see. We should have lost GPS. So I go to 48 if I can backtrack. There we go. 48 it is. Where does it want us to go, though? I, I can't tell. I can tell on this one. We'll have to U-turn and go towards 48. All right. Pretty simple. Um, autopilot's already 2,000. Everything's good to go. We're just going to call the radio. Actually, let's get our compass calibrated. Hit D on the... No, oh, didn't have to change that time. Sometimes it does. Okie dokie. We don't need ground services. We need clearance. And we can't get to clearance, so we get no ATC to take off, which is fine with me. Flaps down one. Hop outside. Parking brake off. Let's go to runway 26 for an easy departure. And, um... We did check for damage, though. Our intentionally rough landing, pretending we're in the mountains. Um, we have plenty of those bush trips under our belt. Oh, man, those are some scary airports to land at, and they're fun. Um, this has been the easiest bush trip I've done in a very, very long time. This definitely goes in the easy category. I'm not complaining about it. We need easy bush trips, too. In fact, I have to do this one again in that glass cockpit if I want to keep my 100% streak going. Oof, duh. Um, trying to decide if I want to record myself doing that one, just landing at the airport, or if I'm just going to do it off camera. I'll probably just do it off camera. Set, autopi set autopilot, come back here, we have an hour land. Whatever, we'll see. That's another day. Alrighty, um, we're about to take off here. Hopefully this doesn't take us longer than it's supposed to because I still want to do some other stuff tonight before Formula 1 Vegas which again was like a month ago for you but hopefully it doesn't ruin the magic when you give us some behind the scenes stuff um but yeah I recorded this a very long time ago alrighty let's slow down here we're not gonna get well maybe we can get tower and clearance you think we can I don't think so it's still confused because we didn't leave this in it does that. All right, let's get everything on except for that. Boom, ba doom, boom, boom, and we're good to go. Let's get out of here. We'll engage autopilot at some point. Once we turn around, probably we definitely make a U-turn. Here we go, turn and burn, as though we're on a short runway, even though we have more than enough space. <laughs> we could probably do five touch and goes on this thing, and still be fine. Alrighty, anyway, why are we not in the middle? Because it's turtle style, that's why. Airspeed is alive, we're just having fun. And whoop, up we go. Boom. Breaks us up the wheels, gear is fixed. Flaps coming in. We need to make a very sharp U-turn if we want to get back on track. Let's go this Turtles way. Up, tango, 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 four, one. You were not clear to take off. I know, because you were broken. So hush it. Hushy, hushy, hushy. Thousand feet per minute. That looks good. Uh, we'll get closer here. And we'll get the autopilot armed for interception of the GPS. There we go. Now we see it. And as long as we go beyond 77, we will intercept. So here we go. Let's um, come down here. And if we hit autopilot, bam. To nav, please. Nav, there we go. Already intercepted it. And it's going to climb at whatever we left off. 500 feet per minute or so. Works for me. Message, I don't need you. Don't need you either. What is it saying? Yeah, 500. Good. Very simple. Three minutes out until we get to the first um, city. And then the water. And then the textiles. And then we will... Is it intercepted? It's intercepted. Or else that would be down here. Yeah, and then we'll come back together when it's time to talk about the next thing. Um, yeah, when we get to the pharmaceutical city, <laughs> we'll, we'll come back together. Enjoy this sight scene. I am so tired. We're almost done, though. Be in a moment.
Wow, time goes fast when you're folding laundry. <laughs> a minute and a half out from our city with all the textiles and industry, automotive and pharmaceuticals. And then we'll um, be on to the next greatest thing. So let's read about the next thing. Actually, we're close enough. Let's just look outside first. And then we'll read about the next thing. Here we go. Got some stuff going on outside of town. Whoa, hello. I want to keep the plane in the view because it's a flight simulator and sightseeing simulator. I call it a sightseeing simulator as well. Come on, a little bit lower. Whatever, camera's too fast. Let's just do this. Alrighty, there's industry and everything. More industry, more industry, more industry. People have to live somewhere. Maybe they drive all from Stockholm. That'd be a long drive. Oh, more cathedrals and things, of course. Alrighty, um, I don't want to quite read about the next thing yet because I want to see more of this town. Um, can I pull that up when I'm in drone mode? I can. Oh, well, there we go. We can keep the town here. That's not... This is drone mode. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. Alright, so this is where we are. Solder tall. Hey. There's the downtown, and the plane is going to turn. Right okay, here, fine. Let's put that away. Let's come back here. And there's your town. And now let's read about it. The next place, I mean. Castle. Six minutes out. Right, POI 51? Yes. Six minutes out, turn over the place and skirt the shore of the lake. Parallel the course of the European Route 20, which I don't see. Probably right here. Yep, there it goes off into the distance. Pass over the extremity of the bay on the third less, which is the third largest freshwater lake in Sweden. Sight the city of Merifred. And then there's a castle on a small island directly southwest of the city. Can't miss it because the computer will bring us there. The castle dates back to a fortress in the 1370s. You can read more about that. Now I don't want to lose my voice. We're so close to the end. So after the castle, we go to the airport. From the castle, maintain heading to pass over the airport. So when we get to the castle, we'll tune in the airport. Echo Sierra Sierra Uniform, not Alpha. Alpha, I believe, is the main one in Stockholm. This is just outside of Stockholm. I looked it up already. It says it is doo -doo 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 -doo, 97 kilometers away from Stockholm. Right? Am I looking at the right thing? Maybe. I don't know. I think I am. Anywho, here we go. Read if you want to. Land at the airport's sole runway to bring the journey to an end. So we're looking for a castle now. And then after the castle, we'll land at an airport. How about I can't? Click, there we go. And no sightseeing for you. Sorry, my 12 year old came down and I kept flying and I missed the sightseeing segment. That's okay though. You can see the castle right there. Let's hop outside together. I'm out of breath because I just folded laundry while I was talking to him. <sighs> okay, beautiful. And beautiful. Beautiful. And beautiful. That's really beautiful, actually. And beautiful, and I'm gonna sneeze. I think I'll edit it out. Don't worry. But castle coming right up. Um, so anyway, before we continue on to the next things, um, what do I think of this bush trip? I like it a lot, even though it's super basic and super easy, and super flat, and super easy airports, and a super easy plane. I still enjoy this bush trip very much. Um, it's probably if you line up all. 50 something? I really do need to count how many there have been so far. Um, however many bush trips there have been, I think we're over 50 now. This is like in the top half for sure. So the top 25 for sure. I don't quite want to say top 10, but it could be top 12, top 15. Um, there's your castle, by the way. Another cathedral. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. But let's look at our castle first. And then, um,. Someone's driving around down there. Oh, sunken boats. I think that's funny. There you go. Beautiful castle. Alrighty. Um, that should turn us somewhere, I think. And, oh, airport is next. Only eight minutes out. That's quick. So, let's tune it in. Um, nearest airport list. Uniform, which is two. Traffic. Runway. What do we want? 18 or 36. Well, 36 is just a basic dog leg to the right, and weather is not affected or part of this push trip. 
Um, so let's just do 36, which is north. There we go. And let's select two, and now it's position, which is number one. Echo Sierra Sierra, uniform traffic turtle soup, Tango Tango Tango, 4116 miles east, 2000 feet inbound to land runway tree six. Alrighty, pretty straightforward. Um, so in these easier bush trips, and most of the bush trips actually, even the hard ones in the mountains, well, that's a good shot. The traffic too. Um, weather doesn't affect anything really. Um, you can do whatever you want. Some bush trips, the weather is a big part of the bush trip, and you cannot change it. Some bush trips, you can change the weather. I think you can in this one, yeah. So if it's too difficult, you can change the weather, or sometimes you use a real-world weather, another cathedral over here, and real-world weather at the time is not suitable for flying, and I did do a bush trip like that once, that um, probably I should have changed the weather. It was an incredibly very, very, very difficult bush trip because I used world weather, and at the time I wasn't suitable for flying. So we had like 30 knot, 25 knot crosswinds in a little plane. Just ridiculous, but I did it. And I kept it that way because I wanted the challenge. Or always it be an easy one like this one. So different bus trips, different rules. Sometimes there's no ATC at all. Just depends on who wrote it and how much detail they put into it. So there you go. There's your bus trip rundown. But in general, the bus trips are like mini games. Meaning everything is set for you. You can't change anything. You're locked in. But sometimes there's more freedom. So there's an airport directly straight ahead of us somewhere. And then we'll turn to the right a little bit to land. Um, yeah, I can, all I can tell you is directly ahead. So eventually we'll have to go to the left a little bit so we can make a turn to the right. But we have to spot the airport first, <coughs> which means we will not descend until the airport has been spotted. Because until it's been spotted, if we start coming down, it's going to get too low. And we'll never see the darn thing. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled using this view or this view. doesn't really make a difference. This view is just really cool. And this is still realistic because people put those 360 cameras on poles on their airplanes now and it looks like this in real life. Just like this with all the chase aircraft. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Taking cues from flight sim, I guess. That's a really cool looking lake thing. Huh. Hopefully the loud airplanes are now bleeding into my microphone, but... Anywho, just looking around because we'll be done looking around in a minute. So, yes, I've enjoyed this bus trip very, very much. Um, definitely in the top half of my favorite, you know, of what I already said, all that, you know, top 25. Um, where is this airport? It's only 10 miles out, so I don't know. Echo Sierra Sierra, uniform traffic turtle soup, Tango Tango Tango, 4110 miles east, 2000 feet inbound to land runway tree 6. I'm guessing it's right here, with 36 being like that? Not sure. Huh. Anyway, just enjoying the scenery along the way. That looks really cool, too. Funny how on the GPS, there are definitely instrument approaches from both directions. That's what all these waypoints are. Um, <laughs> they're fixes so you can guide yourself in. I don't know why it's untowered and everything in the sim, but whatever. Um, I guess that, no, that can't be it. That's a town. Or maybe it is an airport. What's your reference image look like? No, it's on grass. With high speed, just like that other one, high speed exit. I don't know, man. We'll find it. It's only three minutes out, though. All right, now it's right in front of us, and I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't see an airport right in front of us. Why is the last one the hardest one to find? Is it, oh, is it going to be right here behind the trees, maybe? We've had that happen before. Huh. Man. Of course it's going to work out this Echo way. Echo Sierra Sierra, uniform traffic turtle soup, Tango Tango Tango, 414 miles east, 2,000 feet, inbound to land runway tree 6. We're definitely going to do a flyover in midfield to find this thing. And then we'll do a left traffic pattern to land. Oh, there it is. It finally, like, showed up in my eyes. So I don't know, has it been there the whole time? I guess in editing, I'll see it. But, oh my gosh, it's right in front of my face. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Let's call this a base leg. We do not need to go over midfield. Echo Sierra Sierra uniform traffic turtle soup tango 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 four one is on base runway tree six. And we're gonna give ourselves a very, very short final <laughs> because we can. There we go. Just all all we need is just enough space to slow down. And we're just gonna come in on a short final, land, conclude the bus trip. I don't feel hurried to conclude this one, which is nice, because some of them, I can't end them quickly enough. But this one's been fine, so. The thing is, though, it took me longer to record this five and a half hour bush trip than it did to record the previous two nine hour bush trips. Um, because with multiple legs like this, I start and stop, start and stop my recording, do intros and outros, blah, 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 adds a bunch of time. You know, when you're doing it 11 times or whatever this was, into six videos, five videos, six videos, I think five videos. First set of flaps. Um, so that adds a bunch of time. So when I do this one again with the other aircraft and not record it, second flap, it's going to go way faster. But just interesting back of the house stuff. Take long, took longer to record this than it did to record the other ones that were... 60% longer, 60% again longer. Full flap, because I can. I want to stop soon so I can turn around and park this thing and not have to go later to the end. Um, had I known, this, I guess I did know this was a runway layout because I looked at the reference image. I could have gone the other way, whatever. All right, here we go. Let's try to stop as quickly as possible. Like we're in the mountains, except we're not gonna plant it hard like we did before on purpose. We're gonna ride this one out smoothly just because we can. There we go. Boom. Ground effects, teeth the stall horn, come down all by itself. And there we go. And nose wheel down on its own. And flaps coming in. And slow down so we can burn a U-turn here. Save icon, but we're not. Oh, there's, we can park over there too. Yeah, whatever, we'll come back this way. Park with the big boys if we can turn around. Come on. Come on. There we go. Stay off the grass if you can. There we go. Alrighty. So we'll come out here. Announce clear of runway, which I think is one. So I don't have to pull up the ATC menu. You think I'd have it memorized by now. But I don't. Uh, we can kind of take that off now because we aren't doing a go around. Uh, that should actually stay until we get off the runway, but whatever. Come on, let's go. Wasting time. This weird high-speed exit that isn't a high-speed exit. Maybe it's a medium-speed exit. I don't know. We're just going to park at this house. See if they have any food. Oh, let's slow down a little bit because I want to come down here and get the appropriate lighting on. And, um, not run into anything. And, oh, those are cool houses over there in the background. I'm an out-of-towner, can you tell? By the way, I taxi. All right, we're just gonna come up here and hit the brakes. Ooh, there's a nice little ramp over there. Boom, and parking brake. I said parking brake, there we go. Avionics off, everything else off. Key off, everything back, and boom, ta-da. We are done with this bush trip. And where is it? Oh, that doesn't count as an ending. What? How come that doesn't count as an ending? Are you kidding me? We are not done with this bush trip. We have to start up again. And we're gonna try out the, take off the parking brake. And we're gonna turn around, I guess, and just stop on the runway. Um, it's very finicky sometimes. This one hasn't been too finicky, but sometimes it's really finicky where you stop and stuff. So let's just go back to the runway and just stop on the runway. I mean, we could go all the way over there to that other parking area, but that might be the same problem. So I saw the save icon, so we are in the right place. Um, and it said on the G GPS, which I turned off. Okay, let's go over here. And let's just stop here. Stop the parking brake. And let's turn everything off. And boom, boom, boom. 
see if that counts. There, that counted. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the bush trip. Subscribe so you know when more videos come out. The next bush trips, the next series, whatever I come up with. Subscriber requests, all that stuff. You only know if you're subscribed, so do that. Hit the like button so people know we exist. And I'll see you next time.